welcome back. I'm doing a video today with airbrush makeup on this holiday glam look. So I hope you like it. I'm using Tickle Pink Products um, Organic Airbrush Makeup. Um, I've done a little bit of concealer. They have a light concealer. And then I'm mixing my foundations, wrap and latte. And then I'm adding in chai through the center as my highlight. And I'm also going to be using their bronzer um, and their whiteout to do my lids. So as we go along, I will uh, let you know what I'm using. I'll list everything down below. And I've already done the hair. If you want to see how I did the hair for this, and uh, the final image is at the end of the video. I'll be doing another hair video on how I did this hair look. Um, it's all pin up and vintage inspired glam for this year's uh, celebrations, which are in my living room. So anyway, I hope you like it. Um, so I'm just, as usual, going in and testing my product on my arm. And um, just adding in a little concealer and doing the foundations. If you have questions, just leave them below and I'll let you know. Um, this airbrush company is family owned. It's out of Oregon. Um, they do free shipping, I believe, on orders 50 and above. And um, they've got a, a, a gorgeous line of skincare. So that's worth checking out as well. You can find them at Tickle Pink Airbrush online. I'll put the, um, the actual website address down below so that you can check out their products. Their skincare is really great and it's nice that it works flawlessly with the airbrush makeup. So I'm just gonna go in with the petal pink and do, or actually warm blush, and do some blush. And then I like to run it through the eye as well. Uh, just to give it a little warm. And uh, everything's looking really dewy right now, but I'm gonna tap that out with some flawless finish powder at the end. So now I'm going in with my white out. I use it kind of as my primer for my eye and also just to lighten the skin around the eyes so that the color picks up really well. And this whole look is really like a soft glam. So the, the compressor or the kit that I'm using has three speeds and I usually just leave it on low or medium and then I use the high speed to clean it out. So I'm gonna go in with, I believe this is Moonbeam and I'm just doing the lids. You can see it's like a really soft taupe. I still got a little bit of shine everywhere. The product's colors do come in matte or um, dewy, like a shine. So that's one thing to also know about this line. And oh yeah, they do a line of glitters. Uh, today I'm going to do a really light red glitter. It's not, I'm not packing it on. It comes with a Glix Fix solution. And if, um, if you don't have any on you, um, or you run out, you can also use Lit. This is also a great solution for glitter. So I'm just gonna put this on the base of my lid and I'm, I like to mix it on a little palette and apply it with a brush. I use um, actual artist brushes to uh, apply random makeup when I'm doing my airbrush. I don't, um, I mean there's amazing great brushes out there but um, for the glitter I just, I use a flat um, brush. If you're interested in finding out what brushes I use, let me know. So that's pretty much the only thing I use uh, a brush and then at the end I do the flawless finish powder where I tap it underneath the eyes and around the mouth where I want it to be bright and light and set. So as you see I just did a light glitter and that just adheres. It comes with a solution and you can get a variety of colors on the Tickle Pink website. So it's really fun. They're all like jewel tones. They're really pretty. And as you can see you can wear it light or heavy. And this just has a nice like shine to it. It's a bright deep red, but it looks like a, a pink almost. And if I was to go heavier, it would look like a, a very deep red, but um, I'm keeping everything really soft and pretty uh, for this video and this look. And in between, I'm always cleaning and tweaking my stuff, so bear with me. I try to speed up the videos so they're faster. Um, and then um, that way you don't get totally bored. One good thing or one thing you should um, know about the organic makeup is that their liner, which I'm using right now, the black is black. It also comes in brown, but that works with the organic airbrush foundations and eye makeups. Um, my traditional liquid liners did not work. So this is really great to invest in is to get their liner. And like I said, it comes in brown and black. It comes with a little solution where you can just paint on the powder which you just mix together 
And I'm also going to use, um, this is another little trick, the Aloe Infused Glue by Kiss. And I got it in white. I'm not a big fan of black adhesives. Um, and that's one reason why I stayed away from magnetic lashes in this video. Um, I love the magnetic lash and it works with the tickle pink, but um, I just feel like my eyeliner grows and grows. So I wanted to get a white glue so that I could keep the look really simple. And there it is. And Kiss offers it in white or black and it works with the organic makeup really well. Um, so that's something to keep in mind, especially if you're doing this makeup and you know your clients request organic makeup. Uh, Tickle Pink's a great option to have in your kit. And it's good to know what eyelashes and liners actually work with the product so that you aren't in a bind, especially for weddings and stuff. Or if there's windy weather or it's a shoot or what have you. So I'm just going in and tapping in some powder underneath the eye. I like to just set it. And as you can see, it just kind of mattifies it a little bit. It just gets rid of a little bit of the shine. So that way I like to play with matte and shine so I have a, a mix of it. Don't worry about that hair. So I did a whole video on that as well. So I'm just going to tap around the mouth, the chin, underneath the eyes, just anywhere I feel like I want it to set and be less shiny. I'm also doing this look for a shoot. I have a dress from Retro Stage that I'm going to be wearing at the very end. And I did this whole look for a shoot that I did of the dress. And um, if you go to my Instagram, you can see the pictures of the dress and the fun little reels that I'm doing. And it's all vintage inspired and it's all positive and to keep you happy and, and just kind of put something fun out there into the world. So um, lashes on. Um, these are my really big lashes I use for shoots. I can't remember the name. I got them in a huge bundle and I use them on all the models. And I use them um, when I'm specifically doing portraits shoots uh, because they're so long and lush. And it's good to know what lashes actually work with the products and the makeup. So the glue held these lashes the whole time. So they were great. And these are a big lash. And I'm going in, I'm going to do a nude lip. I'm just using a soft pink pencil. I'll be using the Milani uh, gloss at the very end. And Dollhouse um, Gabby uh, for the opaque look on the lip. So I'm just going in and lining and shading in the corners. Um, and I'll list those as well, but I really wanted to focus on the Tickle Pink Airbrush Makeup today and show you how you can use it for shoots and holiday glam and kind of festive and you could build your look. It's great for every day, but it's also fun for events and photo shoots and it's organic, so it's really great on the skin. It's aloe infused, I think 89%. So I like to go in and just use a brush to spread out that opaque lip so that it doesn't totally blend out, but at the same time I get a bit of that line blending in. And we're gonna keep on going. I'm just uh, tweaking a little bit. So I'll put in the Beauty Mark for my vintage glam look. And if you like this video, um, please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to add in um, Diamond Glow, which is the Tickle Pink Highlighter, just on the tips of the, the highlight of the cheek, the nose, the mouth, the chin, just a little bit on the sides of the brow, and just adds a really beautiful, subtle little shine that just pops. And I know I took the shine out with the powder, but you just want to strategically put it in in the right places for the shoot, and it looks just amazing. And just adding in a little more of that liner, making sure everything's secure. And I'm gonna use some mascara just to seal those fakes and those real lashes together and just give everything, finish off the look. So I hope you guys like the look. Happy holidays. And be sure to check out my Instagram, Baroness Lovey Deluxe, and join me for more gorgeous glam videos. See you guys. Have a great holiday.